Nityanandam with a gratitude to my Guru, His Holiness Paramahamsa Nityananda Swami or Swamiji. I welcome you to this video today where I wanted to basically introduce a very powerful discourse or satsang Swamiji gave uh, last year in 2016. Now Swamiji is always, just to set the context for the discourse and why it was so pr profound for me and those who watched also. Now Swamiji has been saying since um, his public life and you know, all his disciples, you are God. I'm not here to prov prove I am God. I'm here to prove you are God. Or he said, you are pure consciousness. You are the ultimate. You are Sadashiva. All of these things he's showing and conveying to us that we are all of these things. But somehow, we don't get established in the state right away. We may have experiences, but he never stops saying, he never stops giving us those experiences. And now with power manifestation, people are literally operating and seeing the results from being in that state, which is our true state. And he further describes that this is nothing to be added to us. It's actually already there inside of us. It is the true us. But in this one discourse, Swamiji shared that you are not your psychological ups and downs as the leaves fall down around you. Those are not you. Now, when I heard this, it was such a liberation. And why is that? See, he says you're per consciousness, consciousness. Why does it not give me the same kind of breakthrough this discourse gave? And I'm sure it will at some point. But this discourse, because we identify with our ups and downs so much, that we start thinking they are us. The good times, the bad times, the good incidents, the bad incidents, the tough times in life, the great times in life when we're happy, when we're sad. These are the normal course of our lives, which go like this, like this, like this. And we start to feel that these are literally a part of us, just like this arm is a part of me. We feel those experiences, those mood swings are us. Because people react to that, we make decisions out of that. The whole life seems to revolve around those psychological ups and downs. But when Swamiji declared that you are not these psychological ups and downs. It's like a sigh of relief. Oh, good. Then, because in Hinduism, it's also a spiritual practice, a technique to say, discard what you are not. Na iti, na iti, not this, not this. So, the thing that we identify so much with is actually nothing to do with us. And if we're just able to shake it from us, just like the leaves of these tree are falling. And understand, we're not these leaves, we're the tree itself, we're the consciousness that goes, swims through the trees, that swims through everything in life, that permeates everything in life. That consciousness is actually the real us, the real you and me. So it's much more tangible to take away the things you identify with and realize it, hey, that's not me. Swamiji says, those things are not me. So, when those things hit, instead of reacting from a space of guilt or feeling bad or being fearful, you understand, you put a separation between those psychological ups and downs. Yes, they may come, but that mere separation of understanding they're not you keeps you in a space where you are less likely to react in a way that will take you in a more ups and downs. It helps you keep established in your pure consciousness, in your space as Sadashiva, the oneness. When you're able to see something coming, yeah, I see that anger, but I'm not going to react. I'm just going to let it pass. Okay, I see this fear building up. It's not me. 
I'm not going to accept it as me. Okay, let it come, let it go. So, I encourage you to really watch this video from beginning to end and catch what Swamiji is conveying because it will give you such a relief and such a breakthrough and how you perceive yourself, how you perceive the world and how you interact with the world. So I'll share the link and if you have any further comments or revelations or understandings after watching it, I encourage you to share. Um, this discourse in particular was delivered on Mahashivratri and usually, not, not usually, in all the you know, Mahashivratri, Guru Purnima, Jayanti, Swamiji gives these major profound discourses which are timeless and understand the discourse comes from the space of Sadashiva himself revealing the secrets of life to you so that you can apply them out of his deep compassion for us to achieve our higher purpose in life. So with this, I thank you so much for watching and encourage you to Continue towards Swamiji's discourse, which I'll share in the description and in this video. And thank you so much, Swamiji, for delivering that discourse to the world. And thank you, everyone, for watching. Nityanandam.